channel. Welcome back to One Cent Sports Cards YouTube channel. I'm back. I'm Penny. And today we got some mail to open. We have our first CSG certified sports guarantee graded cards that have come back. Now, the reason we did CSG is to test how good they were. To be honest, it took longer than I thought it would. It took about three months, but we also have a card that my son Beck pulled. It's an Alec Bohm rookie card, image variation. He's really hoping that he can get a great grade on the card. And he is hoping that it comes back maybe a 10. But remember, with CSG, it is a 9.5 that is a gem mint card, very much like Beckett would be. So we'll see if we can get a 9.5 for him. I've got five other cards that I sent in there as a test. We'll see how they look. We'll see how they grade. We did do the subgrades. So now's the time. Let's open up some mail. It's a CSG reveal. Okay, so we are going to open up the package. Like I said, we have six different cards. Beck, what are you hoping we pull? I'm hoping we get mostly nines and nine and a halfs. If now, we get a ten, that would be crazy. That would be crazy. Penny, are you going to sleeve all of our graded cards for us? Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Let's try not to touch this camera thing, the camera stand, okay? All right, so this is how this thing opens, guys. So we'll do this with the kids. We'll see how long this lasts. Uh, that We only have six, so the kids should be okay. The kids are all right. Uh, this will be back, back. This is going to be your first graded card you've ever owned, isn't it? Well, my third, oh. but not bought, not bought. This is hand-pulled. So hand-pulled, right. Not bought. It's my so this will be your first hand-pulled graded card. So let's see. How's this guy? How does CSG keep these things? It looks like we're going to have to rip this. Well, let's see. Uh, I think we're going to fast forward to this part, so I'm not even going to talk. So we'll do a fast forward while I get this thing open. Fast forward time. All right, so after much struggle, we have the box open. As you can see, we have six cards. Let's see what the first one is going to be. It looks like the grades come in. I'm like smacking my camera all over. Now, like I said, we did do the subgrade. So our first card is a Cabrian Hayes. This is a... 2021 Series 1. Now, Cabrian Hayes was not in the base set, but he was in the Mega Boxes. So this is the Cabrian Hayes Top Series 1 1986 design Mojo Refractor that you would have pulled out of a hobby box. So let's see what we have here. I'm guessing 9.5, yeah. Beck is guessing 9.5. It is pretty centered. Not a lot going on on the edges. One thing I will say that I like about CSG right off the bat is how clear the case is, crystal clear. So like I said, we did do the subgrades. So we'll start with the subgrades. And centering, apparently, we only get an 8.5. Our next one, our corners are going to come in as a 9. Nice. Nice. Our edges are a 9. So we're not going to get a 10, but can we get it? Maybe we get a 10 and then we uh, get a 9.5. I don't know. Probably not, but maybe a 9. For our surface, we get a 9.5. So I would assume this one's going to come in as a 9. Yeah. And our first CSG card ever, the Cabrian Hayes. This is a rookie card. We get a mint 9. Now, Penny, do you have a sleeve for me? All right. So we're going to take this one off. You go ahead and put that one in the sleeve. Don't drop it. We want to make sure we want to make sure that we do not scratch 
anything. All right, yeah. so our next card. Beck's trying to peek. I see him trying to peek. I'll look away. Our next card. This is a Trent Palmer autograph rookie Bowman first. Now, I did send a lot of low-numbered Bowman first and some autographs. This is uh, the 2020 Trent Palmer Obviously a pitcher, but anytime you get a one of five, this is a red wave refractor autographed one of five. Trent Palmer. Again, a very nicely centered card. Not a lot going on here, so let's see what we get. For our centering, we get a nine. I like that they do the subgrades on the... CSG grading. You have to pay a little extra for that. I think it's like five bucks, but in my opinion, totally worth it. So centering, we get a nine, which I might agree with that. It's maybe just a tad right heavy, not too bad. Yeah. Our corners, bingo, a 10. Nice. We'll take a 10. So perfect corners. So what do you think about it? What do you think about that, Penny? A 10, yeah. pretty good? Mm -hmm. I like that, especially on a one of five card. Yeah. Our edges. A 10. We might be getting a 9.5 gem mint here. So. We might be getting one. And our surface Ooh. is a 9. Wow. So let's see. Are they going to screw us and give us a 9? Or are they going to do me a solid and give us a 9.5? What do you think, Beck? 9.5. You think, yeah. Penny, you think 9.52? Okay, Bowman draft. 1.5. Trent Palmer autograph the final grade. No. Oh! Oh, a nine how does that become a nine a 10 plus a 10 plus a nine plus a nine in what world when i got perfect corners perfect edges does that become a nine got a little screwed on that card if you ask me yeah. but a nine still a mint card yep. will take it in my opinion a nine plus a nine plus a 10 plus a 10 what should equal a 9.5 uh, let's see. Hey, you kids are in school. What if you have two tens and two nines and you divide that all up? What does that equal? A nine point, a nine point five. What grade are you in now, Beck? Fourth. What grade are you in, Penny? First. You're in first. Okay, so first graders and fourth graders know how that should add up. What do you think? Put a comment in the comments below. Let me know if you think this should have been a nine point five or a nine. All right, Penny, you ready to sleeve this one up? All right, let's do this. All right, Beck, you ready for the next card? Yeah. All right, here. Beck, what is going to be? Beck's trying to sneak. Oh, Beck's God. looking for his Alec Bohm. It'll show up here eventually. My next one is a Warner Blakely first Bowman, but this is a first edition. Ooh. Obviously, as an Angels fan, of course, I'm getting this card graded. <laughs> Plus, I remember when I sent it in, I said, this card's pretty clean. I believe this card is numbered to 150. Uh, or, or wait, no, uh, it is not number to, uh, it is number to 150. It's number yeah. 57 out of 150. You can kind of see it. Kind of hard to see. There it is right there. Yeah, that's good. 55 out of 150. So it's 55 out of 150. Blue parallel. First edition. First Bowman. Warner Blakely. Warner Blakely, by the way, a shortstop prospect for the Angels drafted in the fourth round. So here we go. Let's figure out what we get on the Warner Blakely. We'd love to see some 9.5 showing up here. Yeah. Our centering, Ooh. a 9.5. Our corners are a 9. Okay. So right. This. Our edges are a 9. We need a 10 to get a 9.5 here. You think we, what if we get a 9.5? I don't know. Let's yeah. see. Our surface is a 9. I have no idea what's wrong with that surface. I would love to know. That's probably going to end up being a nine, but you never know. It is a nine on the Warner Blakely. So, so far, we've got, CS all nine. we've gotten all nine. CSG being a little stingy, if you ask me. I will say one thing, though. A beautiful case. If you go on the CSG website, I will. Uh, I actually love the way that they encapsulate the cards. Um, but overall... You know, hey, I'll take a nine. It's a first edition. You never know with Warner Blakely. Yeah. This card could become a common. It could become amazing. I don't know. We'll see. Warner Blakely. There we go. Penny, you want to sleeve that one up for us? Let's do 
this? Let's is it better do than this. that Mike Trout back there? Uh, not better than the Mike Trout. <laughs> Never will be. No way, no how. Oh, the other thing. We'll have to show you this on the autographs, which this one is autographed. So this is a Brandon Fett. It's a first Bowman Chrome autograph numbered 16 out of 25. Again, from 2020 Bowman. We do get the autographs grade. In fact, before we show that one, I want to go back. Penny, can you find the autographed oh, one? So we got a nine on the autograph, but on CSG, which I don't know if I'm a big fan of this on their slab, but they will grade the auto. So let's see what our auto grade got. Our auto grade did get a 10. So we got a 910. Nice. Another reason why this should have been a 9.5. We got three tens and two nines, and apparently it's only a nine. A little irritated about that yeah. card, but hey, worse things have happened in life, right? Yeah. Um, all right, so let's see. We have, I maybe just gave the grade away a little bit here, but that's okay. Brandon Fat. I'm lucky I didn't see it. <laughs> this is an orange parallel. Brandon Fat, first Bowman. Again, just testing out CSG. Did not send any huge autos in, but uh, you never know with some of these prospect cards. Plus, these low numbered ones, always fun to get graded. So, let's see what we got here. Our centering 9.5. All right, Penny, what's that one? 9.5. 9.5 on the corner, so very nice there. Gem mint on the corners. Edge is a 10. Ooh, we should be getting a 9.5 here. We okay. should be getting a 9.5. Our nine. surface is a 9. Well, so what do you think we should get here? 9.5. A 9.5? Yeah. We get a gem mint 9.5. Let's go. Let's go. What's the autograph? 10. What do we get, Pen? A 10. So our first 9.5 Gem Mint CSG, Brandon Fett, 16 out of 25. Nice. Penny, sleeve it. Alec Back. Bohm's one of these two. Alec Bohm, when's it going to show up? The Alec Bohm variation, when's it showing up? All right, when so is let's it see here. Last? Probably going to be last. All right, now, for those of you that follow the channel, obviously I am a Joe Adele collector. So this is the Topps Chrome 2021, and it is his rookie card. This came out of Series 1. It this is the Topps cool. Chrome 1952 Parallel. So let's see what we get here. Uh, most of my Joe Adels are going to be PSA, but I wanted to send this one in. think it's a really cool card. thought it had very nice centering to it. Yeah. So let's see if I was right. All right, centering, a nine. I don't see okay. how that grades out as a nine, but maybe a little heavy top to bottom. I believe that's maybe where it shows up at. Well, it says it's got to be 50-50 on the website and like 45-45. 55-45, right. Yeah. All right. Our corners get a nine, which, by the way, on their website, it will tell you that the corners look perfect to a naked eye when you get a nine, but when you put them under 10, five, 10 time magnification, they're not so perfect. Our edges get a nine, so this is probably coming back a nine. a nine. Yeah. And our surface gets a 9.5, so we might have an outside shot at a 9.5, but I doubt it. It's this is the be a nine. 1952 Redo Chrome. Just love this card. It's going in the PC anyways. We're going to get a mint nine. So tell me what you guys in the comments below, what you guys think about the encapsulation. Um, no taller. Let me see. Let me grab. I'm going to do this a little bit to drive back nuts. Um, oh, I don't have any PSA cards sitting just right on the table. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> Hold on. I do. So let's yeah. see. It is roughly... The same size as a PSA card, a little bit thicker on the encapsulation, yeah. but the same size. Yeah, I mean, totally the same size. Mm -hmm. So, PSA obviously, PSA obviously going to be worth a little bit more right now. Uh, CSG, I like what they're doing with their grading. They're not. Uh, I don't like their their uh, turnaround time being a brand new. Being brand new to the scene, or not brand new, but starting, you know, this year. But a very nice slab, I would say that. And I do like 
their process for grading. Uh, it's actually very, what's the word, uh, stringent. And so nines and 9.5s, it's very hard to get a 10. That's a pristine. It's very much like Beckett. A 10 is almost impossible, but yeah. going to hold a premium. A 9.5 is going to be equal to what we would say a PSA 10 is. So, Penny, you ready to sleep up my Joe Adele? Which one's your favorite one so far, Penny? I don't, I don't know. You don't know? Okay, now, Beck. This is what I've been waiting for here. What, what do you think you're going to get now that you've seen a few grades come out? Well, I haven't seen my card yet. But now that you've seen a few of them, what do you think you're going to get? Here's Beck's card. The 2021 uh. Alec Bohm short print image variation rookie card. Now, Alec Bohm has not had the greatest of 21, 2021 yeah. seasons, so this card maybe not worth as much as when we pulled it way back in what would it, February or March. We looked it up. This cut is like 170 bucks as a nine. As a nine, there is one on eBay available today for $179. Now, do I think that that's probably overpriced? Yes. But Alec Bohm has a lot of talent. He's young, so a lot of room to grow. Uh, so a nine is on sale right now on eBay for $180. Yeah. All right. So let's see what we get. Beck, what do you think you're going to get? Nine, what? 100%, I think I'm going to get a nine. You 100% think you're going to get a nine. Let's just say he's a glass half empty guy. Why don't you say a 10? I could get a 9.5. Ten's almost impossible, that's mm why. Okay, but what about a 9.5? Maybe. Maybe, okay, well let's see. Here we go. Beck's first pack pulled graded card. Really excited to do this little reveal right here. 2021, 9 centering a 9.5. Beck, you got to get closer. We, we need your reaction. Okay. All right, centering is a 9.5. Corners. Oh. 9.5. No way. My okay, let's on. stop right here. What do you think you're going to get now? Uh, if this next one's a 9.5, 9. if there's one more 9.5, a 9.5, definitely. Okay. But if not, probably a nine, knowing what they did with the other one with the two tens. Yeah, all right, edges. Uh oh, a nine. This depends on oh, if I get a nine point five or not, probably. All right, so the next one is going to be surface. Oh. Surface good. Ah, the top series one card. I think surface is not that hard to grade out pretty high at. It's not a chrome card or anything like that. So let's see, on surface. 9.5. A 9.5. Yes. Now, that does not mean you have a 9.5 yet, but yeah. that's pretty Thinking awesome. Thinking about it. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Big reveal for Beck. Yeah. Jump in 9.5. Let's go. Let's go. All right, so we got a gem mint 9.5. So let's see, how do we grade out? Nothing lower than a 9. Penny, you, you want to sleeve that one? Let's do it. All right. All right, so Penny sleeved them all. You want to sleeve all of your slabs so they don't scratch up. So we got, let's see what we got here. Um, I believe we got four nines and two 9.5s. Mm -hmm. And we should have got three and three, if you ask me. But, hey, worse things have happened. We've got yeah. the Joe Adele got a nine. The Warner Blakely got a nine. I don't know how that. This got is a nine. the one that should have got a nine point five. But and then look at the back again. It's a very be nice a 10. edge. We've got the ten on the autograph, so we get a nine on the Trent Palmer. The Cabrian Hayes, we get a nine. I think we got a little lucky on that one too. Yeah. Uh, the Alec Bohm Beck. We're gonna give this card to you right now. Hey Penny, normally you want to put them in the other way. You put them in backwards. I know it seems weird, but watch. I'll show you why. When you put them in backwards, the back of the card takes that little strip, and the front looks clean. Yeah. Just like that. All right, so there you go, Beck. This one's yours. Yes. And Brandon Fett, 9.5. Very nice card right here. Autoed to 10. 
So you guys, let me know what you think in the comments below about CSG. Do you think they're a great grading company? Do you think it's short-lived? Uh, they have a lot of pedigree in the hobby for grading, but maybe haven't gained the traction that SGC has um, in the in the uh, hobby since PSA shut down for new submissions for the most part. Me, I like the slabs. Um, I like the fact that they're very stringent with their grading. Not a big fan of how long it took to get these cards in compared to SGC. If you're an investor, SGC kind of makes a, maybe a little bit more sense. But a very nice slab. I love the fact that you can get subgrades, and I love the fact that they're stringent. So with that, guys, Penny, what do you want to say? You don't know what to say? All right. Well, Beck, you got anything to say? Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Have a good day. Take care, guys. Be good to your family. Be good to your friends. Be good to your neighbors. And good luck on your pack pulls. We'll see you on the next video from One Cent Sports Cards. Take care.